up everyone 3d print 747 here back again with another video so I have this ghost here and it needs to be holding a sign that I created in Tinkercad um, I'm gonna print that separate but what I need to do is scale this down so the first thing I'm gonna do is scale it down to 78 millimeters high and we're good there and then what I need to get rid of is that finger right there. Now, if I select it and choose cut, we all know what's going to happen. It's going to slice through the entire ghost. It's not going to allow us to select or cut just that little portion of it. It's going to choose the entire STL top to bottom, right? So you can angle it that way, that way, whatever, but it's not going to help. So what I'm going to do is uh, add a negative part to it. So let me uh, return out of here. And I'm going to uh, choose the infill first. So we're going to go eight. I'm going to add a, a brim. 20 millimeters, fine. Everything else should be good. Um, I'm going to choose adaptive layer height on this as well. So let me select that. Because so I don't want rings at the top of the ghost. So I'm going to choose adaptive. And we should be good there. And then what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to choose. These all need to have a return, even the adaptive, but it didn't. Now I'm going to um, add a negative part to this to get rid of that finger. So what I'm going to do is select it and then right click and then add negative part. And I'm going to choose cube. Okay, I'm going to move the cube up. And I am going to move it out to the finger, but I don't want to touch the body of the ghost, right? So you don't want to go into the STL. So I'm only choosing that finger. Okay, so you can see that we're still kind of high on that. So I'm going to bring it down like that and that should be good again let's go in and make sure we're not touching the body we're not and then we're going to slice it and that finger will be gone so stay tuned for a sliced ghost Alright, so we have a sliced ghost, and as you can see, the finger is missing, and that's exactly what we wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and print this, and I will show you what it looks like in one hour. Alright, so it's finished. You can see the finger is missing on the left hand, and I have the sign that I printed. I will put this together and then show you what it looks like. All right, so it's finished. So what I did was um, put my soldering iron to the back side of the left hand to flatten it out a little bit, to be able to hold the sign. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. Uh, using the adaptive uh, layer height, there is absolutely zero circling on top of this ghost. It turned out really, really nice. I'm really happy with this. These printers, man, they're just amazing. If you can pick one up, I mean, I started with an Ender 3. I started with three of them. A friend gifted me one and because uh, he couldn't get it working. 
I got it working within a week and then um, traded them up to uh, Anycubic Vipers, uh, Cobra Max, and then went to the P1Ps, which are now P1Ss, and this Cobra 2 Max, which prints really, really well. Um, I'm super happy with this. I might pick up an A1 Mini. Um, there's one actually local to me for 199 but that's what they're going for now. I offered the guy 100 bucks, and I haven't heard back. But it'd be cool to pick one up just for, like, small little trinkets and stuff for, like, um, Christmas. So, uh, yeah, this turned out really, really nice. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please hit that like button. Let's get these uh, videos shared out there. And we'll catch you on the next one.